Good morning, Ed Lang here. It's Friday and welcome to the week in real estate. You know, I just got back from an amazing bike ride this morning around Chantilly. Uh, the weather is perfect, it's hot, it's sunny, just like I like it. Um, earlier, we uh, finished ratifying a contract for our beautiful listing over on Marble Rock Drive and they've gone ahead and set the uh, home inspection for Saturday morning, so I'm hoping that that's gonna go well. Um, yesterday, I showed a couple of uh, nice investment townhomes to Brett, one of my uh, longtime clients, and he called back to say, uh, let's go ahead and move forward on one of them. So we'll be uh, writing up that offer before long. Um, let's see, also, uh, we sent in an all cash offer last night for uh, Tuan and Helen, a couple of my uh, other longtime um, investment clients uh, for a nice townhome over in Ashburn. Um, it's been so uh, rewarding working with Tuan and Helen. They bought a lot of homes, made a lot of money, and um, it's just uh, great seeing them make a, a lot of profit here in Northern Virginia. I don't think there's any place uh, better to invest in real estate, uh, safer and smarter than being here in Northern Virginia. Um, let's see, last night we did our final walkthrough on Emmerich Court with Mala and Sandy. Um, everything went great. The sellers, the Johnsons, they left the house in immaculate condition. Um, there was no issues. And I want to give a big shout out to our house cleaner, Miss Tina Sproles. Uh, she left the home sparkling clean, so everybody is so happy. Um, let's see, uh, I'm going to be taking the Johnsons over to uh, lunch this morning before they leave town. They're retiring out of the area. Um, they're going to be going to a brand new home in Charlottesville. I'm so excited for them and I am going to miss them. And I will be visiting them for sure. Um, a little later today, I'm going to be showing uh, a couple of listings that just came on the market today to um, a young couple, um, Halai and Ryan. Um, that's going to be out in Alexandria. They're looking for their first home to uh, get together now that they're married and going to be starting a family before uh, too long. And they are looking to live near a metro. Uh, he works in D.C. She works as a teacher out in Fairfax. Um, so hoping that uh, we see something uh, nice today. Um, and this is kind of interesting. Uh, another client I'm working with um, called to cancel his appointments for today. Um, he unexpectedly went down to uh, uh, Richmond to bring back his daughter from college yesterday and uh, apparently she tested uh, positive for COVID. So both of them are fine, seem to be doing fine, no, no issues, but um, they're gonna go ahead and self-quarantine and uh, stay in the house for the next two weeks, which is the best and the right thing to do. So thank you guys. Uh, I wish you both the best. Hope you get, uh, hope everything uh, goes well. And I look forward to getting back out and showing you homes in a couple of weeks. So uh, let's go ahead and look over the uh, Friday morning hot sheets. That's what we're here to do. So as uh, the trend continues, um, listings are still low, the inventory's low, um, interest rates are super low, and we still got a lot of demand out there for the houses. So let's get on it. All right, looking over to Fairfax County, we have 208 um, coming soon listings. These are homes that will be going on the market within the next two weeks. Uh, 488 new listings on the market, active. So if you're looking for a new home in Fairfax, lots to look at. Um, there are 209 sellers who have decreased their price. Uh, so if you're looking for a deal, there's a bunch of them out there as well. Get this, 730 homes went under contract just this week and another 559 sold and settled here in Fairfax County. So busy week in Fairfax. Looking over to Loudoun County, um, we've got 49 coming soon listings, 133 brand new active listings. So if you're looking for a home in Loudoun, lots of new listings on the market. 52 sellers have decreased their price. So there's some good deals out there for you. Um, 331 homes went under contract and another 135 sold and settled in Loudoun County. Finally, looking over to Prince William County in Manassas, it's pretty much the same. Uh, 73 uh, coming soon listings. These will be on the market within the next two weeks. Um, 145 active brand new listings. So if you're looking for a home in uh, Manassas or Prince William County, lots of new listings to look at. Um, 44 sellers have decreased their price, so there's some bargains out there. And then another 314 homes under contract 
and another 218 sold and settled this week in Prince William and Manassas. So a lot of action happening in the Northern Virginia real estate market. Um, if you are looking for uh, to see an open house this week, if you're doing some research on your own, want to get out there, get this, Fairfax, 404 open houses this weekend. So plenty to look at. Over in Loudoun County, there's another 78 open houses. And Prince William and Manassas, you're looking at 75 open houses. So lots of stuff to see. Um, so uh, that's pretty much it. That's what's happening here in your Northern Virginia real estate uh, weekend update. Many new listings on the market. Most homes are still selling the first week. Prices continue to increase. Interest rates are staying down low. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Have a great weekend. Happy house hunting. And look forward to seeing you back here next week. Same time.